Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Right, today we are going to the Fallon Brewing Company. And this is, as you can see, this is their Choo Choo. This is a salted caramel milk stout 6% ABV. Um, I've had this beer before back in September of 2016 when I was up in West Yorkshire. Um, first met Stuart for the first time uh, from Ginger, Ginger Real Ale Trail. Um, I had this beer on, I think I had it on keg at the uh, Saltaire um, Beer Festival. Um, fantastic day out that was, um, coincided with Leeds International. But yeah, I had this beer from the Fallon Brewing Company and I've not had any others. Um, but this beer came with um, the recent April Beer 52 box. So, so there we are. Um, I have actually um, done a kind of a, a live review of this beer with the Clueless Drinker, so check his channel out. I'll put it down below. If not, if I forget to put it down below, just do a little Google search, the Clueless Drinker, and sub him and then find the review. Anyway, so I've got a little bit of beer left on this one. So, yeah, it's been standing around for about an hour, so I'm just going to pour the rest of the can in. So these guys are out of um, uh, Kippen, Stirlingshire. I'm probably butchering the, f the first name of the town up, but yeah. The, so it's out of Scotland, Stirlingshire. So this produced on this last bit of the can, not even a, yeah, about a, f a third of a, a finger ahead, just covering the top of the beer. It's kind of like a like a mocha colour, but yeah. Tightly packed bubbles into the light. Is there any? Mm, there's a slight ruby hue coming through, but yeah, it's not 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 too much light coming through. Apart from that, it looks jet black. So the dregs of the can. So so yeah, a salted caramel milk stout, um, a sweet briny uh, chew chew troublemaker, uh, brewed with dark. Belgian uh, syrup, lactose, and sea salt. Try it alongside a nip of your favourite lightly peated whiskey. So, got a swell whiskey apparently. So, all you whiskey fans out there, get this to pair. Anyway, let's get an aroma. So, I'm, what I'm instantly hit with is more of a kind of a brown sugar note. It's obviously the lactose. Milky chocolate, um, nose whistles. I'm getting a little bit of that caramel, but not too much. But let's give it a try. Cheers. Very smooth. That's the first thing you pick up. No hint of the ABV. It's six percent. Scary. Um, just like the brewery on Untapped. Um, how many times can you say um in a review? Um, I'm not sure. Another one. I'm getting more of a milky chocolate in this. Um, when I first tried this and we done the review in, in, in the kind of a live analysis sorry Nick, um, Nick that analysis bit um, 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 100 times then we'll call it. It was more of a chocolate, milk chocolate, creamy kind of mouthful which I'm still getting but there is a little bit more saltiness that have come in now since the beer's warmed up. Um, there we go. Caramel notes. 
but very silky smooth, velvety smooth almost. Body wise, it's it, it's kind of disappointing. Um, I was expecting. A little, I know it's a milk stout. Don't get me wrong, but I was expecting a little bit more for that six percent ABV beer. So it's a lower end of a medium. Um, I, I, the beer before this, the uh, the like the IPA had more of a kind of a body to it than this, and this is a five percent beer. But yeah, it's silky smooth. Creamy, milky. There's hints of a kind of a cherryness coming through a dark fruit vibe. So sort of kind of a black forest gatto. But it's fantastic beer. Um, it's not quite how I remember it, although it's only it was a couple of years ago, so you can't it's a little bit unfair to um, Compare. I'm not going to go compare. But do you know what I mean? It's taste buds change. This is in a can. I had it on draft. I think I was a little bit more wowed by it back then. Um, but I can only go with my, where my taste buds are and this beer in front of me now. Um, there's not really much else to add. I'm not getting much of that kind of sea salt. Well, I am getting it, but not as much as I thought I was going to. The lactose is definitely shining through on this one. More of a chocolatey note, bit of cherry, and that's about it. So in terms of rating then, one more sip. I'll give this... I'll give this a 7. Um, so it's a 3.5 if you're on untapped. Um, going to untap then, let's have a look and um, get the page ready because I'm professional. Excuse me. So this hat beer has had quite a lot of ratings. This brewery, or well, this beer, was added on the 29th of December of 2014. So yeah, it's not, not quite, it's getting on for like three and a half years old this beer not this beer but this brand this line of beer get it right um, it's had 6,687 total check-ins um, it's had 316 in the last 30 days actual ratings 4,900 on the money uh, it's coming in at 3.76 so that is a 7.5 pretty much 7.5 out of 10 out of um, 4,900 ratings, that's, that's pretty damn impressive. So yeah, I'm giving this actual one um, a little bit lower than that. I'm giving this a bang on 7. I think I actually rated this when I first had it as an 8 out of 10, which is a 4. Um, that's kind of works out about right. So, But yeah, it's a really good beer. Um, you can get it on various online uh, stores so it's definitely worth picking up for sure um, I'm definitely going to try this again at some point but yeah great beer um, I want to try some other beers from this brewery for sure so this beer incidentally um, is best before February of 2019 so I'm reviewing this on the 29th of April of 2018 so there you go check them out check out Peter and I'll also put a link down below if you want to get a bit of money off a box of beer, there's a link for Beer52 down below. Thanks for watching then, and I will see you on the next review. Cheers. Take care.